channel. So I am back with a Costco haul. I didn't get a ton of stuff today. I did a pretty large Costco haul a few weeks ago. So I still have stuff from that trip, but I did need a few things and they had a few things on sale that I went ahead and stocked up on. And the main reason I went today, oh, I had to get a new vacuum y'all. So my other one is like, not working so i'll show you real quick here's the old one this vacuum cleaner is over 10 years old i i want to say it's even older i can't remember if i got it in 07 or 09 or 08 maybe but um for sure i got it about 10 plus years ago and it's been a great vacuum cleaner like no issues at all but here in the last few months i've noticed a few things breaking on it um the other day it was having some issues it was sucking up stuff and it was making a weird noise and i took it apart and i found a big pretzel, like one of those peanut butter filled pretzels. So I fixed that and I I have used it multiple times since then. I plugged it in today and when I went to turn it on, it made the most awful sound, like a train. It was awful. So I turned it off real quick and I was like, whoa, what's wrong? So I was kicking the thing on and off. This, maybe this isn't like attached properly um, and I was messing with it. Um, and so I kind of shook it also. I'm like, I'm not really sure. So I, turned it on again and it was just the same awful sound. I immediately turned it off and then after that I could smell electrical burning. So it was very obvious that something was wrong with it. It's probably toast. There's, I think there's something inside the motor that has broken off because you can hear it rattling. Anyway, I've used it probably 5,000 times in the last 10 years. So it's, it's just time to upgrade. What <laughs> is your face? Okay. That's gross. <laughs> so uh, the Dyson Cyclone V10. So they actually are on sale right now at my store anyway. It was $80 off. So I did a price comparison with Amazon versus Walmart versus uh, Costco and they're the cheapest at Costco. So um, hopefully I get 10 plus years out of this one. It's again the wireless one. It's got some extra little attachments. Whoa, hold on a second. Is that? Uh, yeah, there you go the little uh like a little mini one that you use on the stairs and stuff so again it's bittersweet i definitely don't want to spend the money you know getting a new vacuum cleaner today but i really have been wanting this one and i can't just i couldn't justify getting it until my other one broke and so my other one's definitely broken so anyway new vacuum cleaner so that's exciting some strawberries the babies are already in that two things of um what are these onion bagels so my trick with these bagels is that i will freeze yeah, these but before cheese, cheese. cheese oh my gosh <laughs> you are just so goofy right now so i will uh freeze these but before i freeze them i cut them in half and then i freeze them that way whenever someone wants a bagel they immediately take it out of the freezer and pop it into the toaster uh because it's already you know cut in half so they just pop them apart put them in the toaster and they toast up perfectly fine and they last forever uh before we were just leaving these in the pantry and within you know definitely within a week they'd get all gross we'd have to toss them so freeze them y'all they uh they they uh toast up in the toaster just fine also got some more ground beef for spaghetti tacos that kind of stuff some more lettuce the uh the fruit was on sale actually so strawberries i might have said that already went well, on sale, but it was just a good price. And then I got two containers of raspberries. So technically, you know, like four total, the babies will eat those in no time. Also some grapes, grapes were a pretty good price and we go through grapes. The mochi ice cream was on sale y'all. And this stuff is so good. So this one comes with six strawberries, six vanilla bean and six sweet mango. So for y'all that have never tried mochi, it's just basically like a sweet dough and it's wrapped around ice cream. And the dough really reminds me of marshmallows, maybe like a really soft, like it's like sweet and kind of that same texture. And with the ice cream, it just, it's really good. So you want, do you want some? No. Okay. You go with the strawberries. So super good. My favorite is the strawberry. Matt really likes vanilla and then Connor will eat either strawberry vanilla or the mango. Mango is pretty good too, but I like the strawberry the best. Also got some spinach for salads and I'm going to be better about making smoothies and stuff. Matt wanted some gum. So he uh, was like, get it. I'll use it. It'll last a year. So I uh, got him some gum and I'll chew it too. Uh, some Kerrygold butter. And then the Lunchables were on sale. <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. So the Lunchables were on sale, so I thought it'd be fun to get those for Connor. And then I also got him some of these Capri Suns for his lunch box. Oh, dude, 
Ooh. That shirt needs to be Ooh. washed bad. How about you? It typically takes a little container of water, like a bottle of water, I mean. Um, but, you know, sometimes I know he'll appreciate having something special in his lunchbox. And then also I got some of this coffee. So I've heard about this coffee. I've never gotten it before. The Holiday Blend by Starbucks. It wasn't very expensive for 72 I mean, it wasn't like cheap, but it wasn't um, like overpriced or anything. So uh, I think, I feel like it was a good price for 72 of them. So hopefully it's good. Again, I've heard lots of really great things. Some more goldfish because those are life. And then these croissant sausage egg and cheese uh, sandwiches are on sale this month at Costco. So um, really good price for, comes with 12. These are just really great for a quick lunch. Really, really like those. The protein bars are also on sale. So I went ahead and got two of them because Matt and Connor really like these. Matt will take some with him to work and just leave them in his desk and Connor will eat them and just the babies will eat them. And so anyway, they're on sale. So I went ahead and got an extra box um, instead of having to buy it next month. All right, you guys, it's been a few days since I filmed that Costco haul that you just saw. I actually went back today because I wanted to check out a few more vacuum cleaners that my Costco has because I'm a little bit on the fence in regards to the vacuum I just got. So um, as you saw, I got the Dyson V10. It's a really amazing vacuum cleaner, honestly. I really like the idea behind it with it being cordless and it's lightweight and I just like the way it looks and it feels. Uh, there's a few things I'm not just crazy about. Uh, the first thing is, is that in order to like engage the, uh, the motor, you have to hold down the button. And so I knew that when I bought it because I did some research on the vacuum cleaner, but now that I've been using it, I'm like, does this bug me? Is this gonna bug me five years from now? Uh, another thing I'm not as crazy about is the battery life. I read about the battery life not being super great on these machines, but I thought, I don't know, that may not be my experience. I might use the vacuum cleaner a little bit differently than other people do. So far, it hasn't really been a problem. Uh, it only has died on me once, but I've only been using it for a few days. So I'm just not really sure how I feel about it because I, I don't know, like I, I, I'm the kind of person that sometimes when I vacuum, I might only take five minutes or I might be vacuuming for an hour. So it's it's gonna have to be, if I keep the vacuum, it's gonna have to be me adjusting to like vacuuming maybe in sections and then charging it. So I'm not sure, again, how I feel about it. Right now, I'm probably gonna keep the V10 um, and just maybe have to get used to it. So anyway, I went back to Costco and while I was there, of course, you know, check out the vacuum planners. There are a few things that I didn't get last time when I was there that today I was like, I might as well go ahead and get them because uh, I want it to be kind of a long stretch before I go back to Costco. So I just wanted to show you those items now. And if you have a Dyson, like the stick vacuum, uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think of them. Anyway, let me show you what I picked up at Costco today. So I didn't get a ton of stuff, but these are the two items that I forgot to get last time I was at Costco. So the flour tortillas by Mission, these are really good. They come in two packs of 20. I'll put one of these in the freezer and then I'll leave the other one in the pantry. They last a really long time. They're super soft as you can see, and we just really like them. And again, they freeze well. So, uh, forgot to get those so I, I grabbed those today and then this bag of coastal berry trail mix so I bought these last month at Costco when they're on sale and Matt really liked them he's been taking them to um to work in his lunchbox so I would I had sent him a picture of this kind and then the Kirkland brand and I asked him which one he wanted and then he responded later and I already walked away anyway I forgot to get them so he wanted these so I went ahead and grabbed those uh, I went ahead and got another bag of chicken wings. I didn't get them last time because we've been having chicken wings a lot lately and I figured that we could just use a little bit of a break. But we actually had them for dinner last night and Matt and I both were like, these are so good. So I went ahead and got another bag. This will make several meals. They're just really good. Like they're already individually um, like frozen and cut and they're ready to go. All you have to do is marinate them and then put them on the grill. We use some great value. Uh, wing sauce, they just come out perfect they're so good. Um, I saw these on sale, the, the Pace Picante Medium Salsa. Sorry, phone was ringing. Uh, so the Pace Picante Medium Salsa, so this is already a good value. Normally it's $4.99 for two bottles and these are pretty large bottles, uh, two pounds each, so four pounds of salsa. And then today they were like a dollar fifty off or something like that. So even even better. So I just went ahead and grabbed some for the pantry. And then I was gonna get some chocolate chips because I'm really running low and I was gonna make chocolate chip cookies for Sunday dessert coming up, but I couldn't find the chocolate chips today. And so I was just gonna skip, but then I saw this big old thing of chocolate chip cookie dough and it wasn't that much like money. So I just went ahead and got that. 
And then this I'm very excited about. So I don't normally get this pancake mix. Um, in fact, I've never gotten it, but they had a little table set up where they had a bunch of free samples. First of all, it's really good. I was actually really surprised how good it is. All you have to do is add water, so easy for me. And they also had, it's apparently for a limited time, this Kodiak Cakes uh, syrup. So they had raspberry, they had mixed berry, and then they had like apricot, I think. And so it was just really good. The babies kept eating like all the free samples. I finally had to walk away. Um, but really, really good. So I've heard about these. I've just never bought them before. Um, and it comes with, let's see, three 24 ounce bags. So I feel like that comes with a lot of pancake mix. And we have like breakfast for dinner all the time. My boys love pancakes and waffles. So if, if this is a winner for me, which I think it might be, I might just start buying this because I typically just get the kind from Walmart, just a great value brand. I see this a lot in other Costco hauls. I've just never bought it before. Um, so anyway, I got it today and then they got me with the syrup. So figured that that would be kind of a good addition. But anyway, that is the Costco haul for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not gonna go back to Costco until like sometime next month. So it'll be a while before you see another one. So thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.